in our Starlight series. My name is Derek and I'm one of the helicopter flight instructors here at the Starlight Aviation Training Academy in Durban. One of the biggest questions posed in helicopter flight is why is there a set of blades at the back of a helicopter? This is what we refer to as the tail rotor. Newton's third law of motion states that for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. In powered flight, meaning the engine is powering the helicopter, as the main rotors are turned, the helicopter is subject to a force known as torque. This is the opposition to the rotational direction, so as the engine turns the main rotor blades above the helicopter in one direction, the body of the helicopter, to which the engine is mounted, wants to turn in the opposite direction. The tail rotor was just one of many ways pioneers tried to combat this force. The development of helicopters has been around for almost as long as aeroplanes, with the first flight taking place in 1907, just three years after the Wright brothers took flight. Many developers tried to combat torque using two or even four sets of counter-rotating main rotors next to or above each other to cancel out these forces. It was only in 1932 that the Soviet Union, now Russia, developed a helicopter with what we today know as a tail rotor. The tail rotor uses horizontal thrust to counteract the spinning of the body. This quickly became the popular choice and many developers adopted this method due to its simplicity and cost effectiveness. The tail rotor can be also be used to turn helicopters at very low or zero speeds. We call this yaw. The main and tail rotor of a helicopter spin at constant speed during flight and the controls adjust the pitch of the blades. If you imagine putting your hand out of a moving car's window with your palm down, as you twist your palm into the wind, your hand wants to lift up. This twisting is called pitch. Pitch on an aerofoil creates lift. The tail rotor uses this principle. More pitch means more thrust, and less pitch means less thrust. The tail rotor is controlled by the pilot with the anti-torque pedals. The left pedal will yaw the helicopter to the left, meaning the nose of the helicopter will turn left. The right pedal will yaw the helicopter to the right. A helicopter's tail rotor spins at very high speeds in order to get the thrust it needs. These speeds can be so excessive that it may appear invisible to the human eye. For most small to medium sized helicopters, the tail rotor's height is roughly eye level. For these reasons, the tail rotor poses a massive danger to humans in close proximity. Please, never walk to the rear of a helicopter unless guided by an approved safety personnel. When entering or exiting a helicopter, always do so to the front or sides. A red and white painted guide rod displays the path of the tail rotor and indicates danger alongside several danger decals. There is also a flashing light normally located near or on the rear of the tail boom called a strobe light to indicate when the aircraft is operational. Avoid approaching a helicopter when this light is flashing. Thank you for watching and we hope you learn more about a helicopter and why we require a tail rotor. Please visit us on our website and social media for more information and we look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care and fly safe.